protection and as I've stated over and over in previous shows, federal gag orders previously on all National Weather Service and NOAA employees because our government certainly does not want the population to wake up to the fact that climate engineering, highly toxic, devastating climate engineering is going on above their heads every single day. And when I hear from those people who convince themselves that if this was really going on, these agencies would speak out, how in the world are they going to speak out? What an absurd notion that these people from these agencies are going to be lining up to make their voices heard when they lose their jobs, their retirements, or much, much more, depending on how much they know. Who in their right mind would think such people are going to be lining up with no First Amendment protection, federal gag orders, Trump issuing even more of these now? Is the direction we're heading not crystal clear? Does it look like we're heading any different direction with this new administration? It doesn't to me. And my experiences with USDA biologists, by the way, I'm, I'm sorry to say, they're unlike this EPA official that I'm communicating with. I know local USDA scientists in Northern California that I'm sorry to say have shown no courage, no honor, none. And I worked extensively with some of these experts. And I've been in the field, as I've stated in previous shows, testing soils, getting pH values that were astoundingly higher than the baselines which we had in our possession. pH values that can only be attributed to the massive amounts of heavy metals in our rain, which alters rain pH, which begins to load the soils, which it's doing. And none of them had the courage to say anything officially. In fact, as I've stated in previous shows, I had one look at me in the field while we were testing and say, what do you want us to do about it? How about standing up, being a man, being a father, being a citizen of the planet, and telling the truth, no matter what the consequences, because to tell the truth while you can matters. And to be silent and cower in the corner while the entire ship goes down won't save you. It won't save you. And if everyone stands up together and those academicians and biologists and agency experts that are listening to this broadcast, when will you tell the truth? How long will you try to protect your paychecks and pensions at the cost of the entire planet going down? How long? I ask that question, how long? And the denial that comes from the quote-unquote... What we are seeing is man-made, but man-made in a different way than you may guess. Uh, weather modification programs, experimental ones done by private companies, done by the United States government, uh, done by states across the United States are underway. There's more than 50 of them in operation across the United States. All of these impact agriculture because they change the microclimates needed for agriculture to survive. None of these programs that I know of today, and this is all public record, are available at any time uh, with oversight, agricultural oversight or public oversight. These programs impact agriculture, and there are programs around the world, international corporations are modifying our weather all the time, and they're modifying it in ways that cover thousands and thousands of square miles. Most of it is chemically altered, so that what happens is that we are putting chemicals, ground-based chemicals that are shot into the air, or chemicals coming from airplanes that change and modify our weather. So one of the things that I'm concerned about and that we need to address in the future is how these programs are impacting microclimates needed for our crops to survive and needed for pollination.